starting to get a taste of summer today as we turn to your full forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is here now. Tony, you were saying it got up to 76 degrees. Is that a record? Not a record, but I mean, it's way above average. The average high for this time of year is about uh, 58 degrees. So I like when we're spoiled. Me too. <laughs> Considering, you know, how <laughs> wet, you know, how wet the winter and so far early spring has been. Newport behind me with sparkling sunshine. Now the sea breeze has settled in, so the coast is not in the 70s, but it's still gorgeous. Inland areas are in the 70s. In fact, we'll go to Narragansett Town Beach one more time. I mean, this is a decent crowd for mid-April, and I've noticed there are some people in the water. Uh, you know, water temperature is running at about uh, 48 degrees, so it's cool. I mean, you know, it's no surprise that the water takes much longer to warm up compared to the uh, the air temperatures, so do be mindful of that. Now, the sea breeze has kicked in, so right along the beaches, it's in the 60s, blue skies there with the cumulus clouds in East Greenwich right now. Look at these high temperatures, very unusual, including the 76 in Providence, even the coastline before that sea breeze settled in, topping out in the upper 60s. Now, we're warm for tomorrow. I don't think we we get to uh, 76. We're forecasting 67. But bottom line, tomorrow is an A-plus weather day as well. I right, would look at the numbers right now. While Newport is at uh, 61, it is uh, 15 degrees warmer in Providence. Smithfield 73, Taunton 75, gorgeous New Bedford at, uh, in the upper 60s, and the weather buoy offshore indicating a 49 degree water temp. I mean, it was you know a month ago the water temp was 43. So. It's rising, albeit a very slow process. We usually max our, our ocean temperature at the beaches uh, around late summer at about 72, 73 degrees. Nothing but green here today, tomorrow, and into Wednesday. Looking good when I was driving into work, um, going past the R Roger Williams Park Zoo. Boy, that parking lot was full. Of course, school vacation. Great, uh, great weather for tomorrow for outdoor activities. And I would add Wednesday in there as well. And then at towards the end of the week, we'll bring in some scattered showers. Uh, some showers up in northern New England. We are dry, so any significant uh, precipitation is still way back towards our west. So, you know, eastern third of the country, we're doing pretty good. And uh, the temperature, um, the temperatures right now, you know, feeling like summer across the central plains and deep south and, and the very mild temperatures uh, here in New England. So we're getting real close and we'll start things off at about uh, seven o'clock this evening. A nice quiet night. You're heading out. Weather looks fine. Uh, we are at midnight, looking pretty good. Now, tomorrow morning at about uh, 8 a.m., starts off in the uh, lower 50s. Nice jump in the temperatures, sunshine, another beautiful day. Uh, mid to upper 60s should do it for the high temp. Uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, uh, still looking good. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, cool and quiet weather. So for this evening, very comfortable, 7 o'clock, 61. Sunset time now almost at the 7, 7.30. Tomorrow morning, sunshine. I mean, naturally, it's cool early in the morning by 11 a.m. 61 and we're topping out in the mid to upper 60s by uh, tomorrow afternoon. Boaters, you've got a light northwest breeze tomorrow at 5 to 10 knots. A right, seven day forecast gorgeous for tomorrow. Even Wednesday, while it is slightly cooler, it is still a very comfortable day to get outdoors. We're bringing the chance for a shower on Thursday, much cooler at 56. Extra clouds on Friday. Early call on Saturday is that it's not a storm day, but can't rule out a passing shower with some nice weather on Sunday.